Father Jose Antonio Fortea, an exorcist works all his life, admired and thanked by some, and bitterly despised and persecuted by others. God desires that this ministry always be done from the cross. If a priest is not willing to bear this burden, he should not accept this ministry. A very interesting idea, deciding who it is that can be an exorcist. Who could stand it? If, if all that is said about the death, uh, what kind of person does it take to become an exorcist? The right is the uh, book which came out a couple of years ago. You've heard Matt Baglio on Coast to Coast with George. The Making of a Modern Exorcist also became the theme of this movie with Anthony Hopkins, which, while not well-reviewed, uh, it, uh, it is a very well-reviewed book. And it, it is a very entertaining book, despite the subject matter. Who is the devil? Is the devil a creation of God? Is devil a creation that is slightly higher than a human being but not quite divine? Uh, is the devil an equal counterpart to God? Uh, what keeps the devil in check? Uh, when does the devil take possession of a soul? How does it happen? These are the subjects of the light, and we'll get to it right next on Coast to Coast. This is Ian Honnett. I tried a new product from eFoodsDirect.com, a bowl of their delicious new... Matt Baglio is an American reporter and uh, author living in Rome, still full-time, Matt, or, or, just, uh, or just at the time the book came out? Uh, hi, Ed. No, I'm, I'm still here. I'm living in Rome. Still <laughs> It's a great place to live. Never coming back? Well, I wouldn't say never. I mean, my, my family is, uh, is Italian. My wife is from Rome, so uh, I've got a large extended family over here. But I also have one in the States, and it's great to go back. I miss it, and maybe maybe in the future I will have back. Well, uh, it, it, uh, it, it's an amazing book, and, and you got to love the success. Not many people uh, could see a book that was a nonfiction book be turned into a movie starring Anthony Hopkins. No? Yeah, it's very surreal. Um, I, I feel very lucky, and again, it's not often that that happens, as you were just saying. You know, Anthony Hopkins is an amazing actor. Even the director and everyone else involved uh, was pretty special, and, and the book being nonfiction, I think it kind of helped in this case, because the topic of exorcism is one that I think most people are fascinated about, but they want to know the truth. They want to know the reality. Right. Uh, uh, and, uh, and that is the story of the making of a modern exorcist. The book is The Right. Uh, I'm very interested in the subject and have been for many years for different reasons. Uh, and I appreciate the fact that in the, the book you recount the story of one person's uh, march toward becoming an exorcist, starting from a very early age, still following their call and, and uh, making the determination that they were bound to be a priest, but there are a lot of uh, there's a lot of conflicting theology around the devil, and you certainly focus on the traditional Catholic catechism. Well, for people, oddly enough, that don't know what the uh, Catholic Church's official position is on Satan, um, is, is easy enough to to sum it up for you? Uh, yeah, I mean, what's odd about about that is that is that would probably go for many priests, Catholic priests as well. I mean, um, the book is written from a Catholic perspective because I attended this course being taught in Rome at a Vatican-affiliated university that, you know, was purporting to train exorcists. The majority of the course knew who the devil was, the nature of exorcism, and, and the history and the Bible and all these things. And I, I was raised Catholic, but I, didn't, I wasn't practicing, and I didn't know anything about the topic either. But what was fascinating to me was that it, it, Catholic priests didn't know anything about the devil either. And I, and I thought, you know, how, how could that be? How could a Catholic priest not know, you know, the nature of, uh, of the devil and who he was and, and how he said to be able to influence people? Um, and, you know, that was 
real eye opener for me. And and so, as you were just saying, it's true that there are many conflicting you know notions of who the devil is, even within various Christian denominations. But in the Catholic Church, the devil is is basically a fallen angel. So he was created good by God before humans uh, were said to be created, and along with all the other pure spirits. The devil is essentially a pure spirit. And these pure spirits were given a test. And some of them uh, remained faithful to God, and they became angels uh, that we, we think of. And the others uh, put themselves before God, and they became the fallen angels that we think of. So they were cast out of heaven, and this is uh, really a fall uh, in their nature, the state of their, in their nature. It wasn't a physical fall because they're pure spirits. They don't have any physical bodies. So they were cast out of heaven. They were essentially cut off from their link with God. And in the Christian, in the Catholic tradition, God is really the source of all uh, purpose, love, etc. And in, in, in the, when you are cut off from that, you enter into this state of and go to evil. 